Hey, you guys. Good morning. Um, my name's Tiffany Collins, and I am a beauty guide for, with Lime Life. Uh, I don't know if you've heard of it before, but it is a um, skincare and makeup company that started out by um, just doing professional makeup um, in, on Broadway and in Hollywood. And then um, the family, it's a family-owned business, decided that they wanted to um, mass produce their product and turn around and be able to sell it to the celebrities and the people that they were, you know, putting makeup on. And then they created skincare and it's all natural. They really um, focus on being environmentally friendly and being good to your skin. And I'm just in love with this company. They have top of the line ingredients and, um, it's family owned and operated, so they treat you like family. So, now you know a little bit of that background. I'm also an artist. I've got some pieces over here. This one, obviously, I haven't started. But um, this is my studio that I'm sitting in, and I have a giant mural of Jesus. I did not paint that. I wish I could say that I did. But it was dedicated to a family member, and then, um, Anyways, long story short, I ended up getting it for now. Um, eventually, he will go into a place where children can see him because I think the visual is important to have. It's pretty realistic looking. It's awesome. He's like eight feet tall. So, I just wanted to give you a little background of who I am and why I've come on to talk to you today. Um, I started a video a few minutes ago and then the mailman came, so I stopped it. And guess what he had? A Lime Life box, yay. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it while I'm on camera here with you. And uh, let's, I've been ordering in bulk for a lot of my customers. It's just easier that way if they live close to me so that I can save them. Um, shipping and handling and taxes and I can meet up with them and um, so this might be one of those bulk orders um, but Lime Life does give free shipping for purchases of $77 or more so um, I end up getting free shipping too when I do those bulk orders and then they also um, give you free shipping um, as a perk, like after you've spent so much money with them. So, they really do a lot of good incentive programs. Okay, so the first thing I see here is a beautiful bag. And I'm gonna open this up and see what we've got. I have an idea, but I'll let you see too. So it's Got a lot of strings going on. It's a jawstring bag, so it'll be able to open up flat. And um, it's from a collection. So we've got, uh, let's see here. Oh, it's some of the eyeshadows. So this is a four set of eyeshadows. This one is number 11. Um, yeah, they go by numbers. They have names on them too, but they go by numbers. This one is, let's see. This is how they come. They come like where you can purchase the refill. Um, this one's gonna be a really pretty purple. Um, I ordered 18 eyeshadows and then I went ahead and got like a four pack holder compact so here's a really light one so that's why I ended up getting a bag they threw the bag in there too that is so cool um, and I also got let's see this really pretty brown fall like bronzy color so they put a really cool compact together there with like pink, purple, a natural color for a highlight, and then a bronze, and then the compact to put them all in is right here. So when you get a compact, all you have to do is buy the refills from then on. But this is a giant like jawstring bag. 
So, you can put a lot of stuff in that. Oh, so sweet that they gave me that bag. I was not expecting it. But, just look in this box right here. Oh, it's like Christmas. It's so fun. Okay, so this right here is the classified brush number five. And the brush number five, I went ahead and got for my cousin um, who got some foundation and concealer. This is the buffer brush and I use it daily. I love it. Here it is right here. It's super small, it's super soft. It blends my makeup so well. I think if you're going for concealer, you've gotta get the buffer brush to go with it. Our concealer is waterproof. So a lot of times I just use concealer instead of foundation, um, especially if I'm going around water or to the pool or if I know I'm gonna be sweating. Um, I like to, since I, I'm a beauty guide, I like to wear makeup out in public and um, I go to the workout class, I got makeup on. I don't have a full face on, but I'm definitely not just like nude face. Every once in a while I am, depending on how busy my day is. But once I get all of my fun eyeshadows put into their big holder, which I got another like, this is the for my cousin who got foundation and two concealers. She ended up getting a dark concealer and it's in here somewhere for contour. So you can do that. You can get like a blemish covering concealer, a contour concealer, and then a perfect shade foundation to, um, oh, and I got one too because I wanna be able to like put that together. I have foundations, I have concealers. I wanna put like my own little pack together so you can switch them out. This is what all the shadows will go in. Ah! <laughs> so fun. Um, one thing I use daily that I order every time I order because it is so worth it to me. And if you're a customer of mine, you have gotten to try these before. But they are the make-off wipes. It comes in this giant box. And let me open it up here. I order them before I'm out of them because I never want to be out of them. Um, I was going to show you. I had one sitting out here, but I think I used it. Hey, let me get my scissors back out. They come individually wrapped. So like um, going away for the weekend or giving them to my customers who order. It's so easy. Like... I love just grabbing one and then I'll go sit on my bed while I'm watching TV, open it up and wash my face. Um, so that's like if I'm super tired and I'm not going to wash with my cleansers, um, then I go, I use one of these and sit on the bed and it smells so good when it's opened up. It's about this big. It's bigger than a normal like wipey and um, that's something else that <laughs> sometimes I'll use half of it and hand it to my daughter to use the other half um, so that she's getting a good facial cleanse before bedtime too. So that's all the fun stuff that came in the box today. I'm super excited. I was a little bit afraid that this shipment would take longer um, because we are experiencing a couple glitches in our system, but I got great news this morning from Michelle, our CEO. She has like, personally gone to the warehouse and been working herself to figure things out to be smoother and this company is so awesome that they have gotten lawyers got a contract drawn up the warehouse we use is also used by other um, marketing companies so the warehouse has staff that works for all of these different companies putting their distribution stuff together well, we want to be in charge of our own stuff, but still use their warehouse and their machinery and all the things. And so it was approved yesterday, contracts are signed, that we have our own crew go back in the warehouse to do our own stuff. Um, and that's just showing like the commitment level that this company has for their beauty guides and their customers. Like she doesn't allow any sort of like slacking and she sees something that needs to change she goes in there full blazing, ready to change it, you know. And then she's also rehired some of her old crew that were, like, amazing employees. Um, so we have, like, some of the best 
um, people coming back to work for us in our distribution center. So it's all good news. But so that kind of paused um, why I was going to make a video today, but that was super fun. Good surprise. The main thing I was going to show you guys is you can see I don't have any makeup on. I did put some lips on um, just to be fun earlier, but I don't even have, I'm a little shiny just because of my big ring light, but um, I haven't put my moisturizer on or anything yet. So what I did before bed last night was I, I washed my face twice. I washed with normal skincare. Um, this one's Dream Clean. I use the, um, the other one that's in my bathroom, I think forget the name of it but this one is for um, normal to oily and I used quench cleanse yeah quench cleanse for um, dry more dry skin it's just a little bit more moisturizing but um, so I washed my face with that and then I used one of my um, make off wipes and then I did my toner and this is called the glowing green toner pads. I haven't opened this box yet. I just got it a couple days ago. It has lactic acid and witch hazel, which is totally gonna purify any pores and just kind of give you that fresh, clean feeling. And it exfoliates the dead skin off. So 15 packets come in the box and they look like this individual wrapped once again so you can throw it in your bag for an overnight or whatever and once you open this up it's a circle pad inside of there it's about this big size of my palm and it has like a little sleeve you put your fingers in so you put your fingers in you wipe it all over your chest your neck your chin everywhere You'll feel a little bit of tingly sensation, like something's happening. You smell a little bit of the witch hazel, and um, it's just super purifying. It feels so good. You let that do its thing for 15 minutes, and I did this last night. I also handed that pad off to my daughter, and she used it because um, I I need I didn't use all of the like moisture on there the ingredients so I'm like she's got acne she's starting to break out um, these toner pads are good for all ages probably starting around 10 years old when they're experiencing hormones all the way to you know until the last breath you take because it's good for um, wrinkles all the way to blemishes and then everything in between so it's a really good versatile product that anybody can use um, so she used it around her nose and she felt a little bit of tingly, but not too like, oh, this is overpowering or anything. She's like, yeah, I feel it a little bit. But um, after that, after the 15 minutes in between, you do the second step, which is the green smoothie. And this has alfalfa and celery in it. And um, it's anti-aging, you know, it's gonna be your nighttime moisturizer. But that alfalfa is actually like an all natural retinol. Um, retinol is really bad for your skin, even though it's like you feel like it's doing something good for you. Uh, it'll in the long run turn into more um, age spots and stuff if you don't protect from the sun because you're stripping away so much. But doing that at nighttime and then waking up in the morning, you completely see the biggest difference I do, and a lot of other beauty guides and customers who've used it are like, they sell out really fast because it is a proven product. I mean, it is working for what you want it to do, and it's revitalizing your skin at night. When you're asleep at night, your skin is awake. So it's the best time to do a treatment. Um, but you wanna wear your SPF the next day for sure on your face. So. I have my um, SPF body sample right here, and I'm actually gonna use this on my face. I'll mix it with my um, moisturizers and stuff that I'm gonna apply now, right now. Um, we do have one specific for face, and it's like a makeup primer, moisturizer, and SPF all in one, so it's awesome, but it's actually, um, packed up in my camper right now and I'm not gonna go get it. So I just thought I'd use one of these samples. I put it on my hand um, because I'm also gonna do some 
champagne glow drops with it. So I just make my hand like a little palette and uh, to add some glow, add some moisture. I'm gonna use a little bit of due date. Um, it's an oil, just put that on there on my hand once again. And then uh, let's make some cool bomb in there too. So I've got several things happening here, but once you see like what this does, you'll totally understand why. So I definitely want my SPF. I'm gonna go ahead and get my buffer brush and start applying my SPF. Get it blended on for some good coverage. Um, and just so you know, our SPF, it's like reef and coral safe. So you know that the aerosol cans that people use that are super easy to apply, which I'm not gonna lie, I've used them on my kids, it's actually not very good for you, right? And so even the, um, there's places in the ocean that they will not let you use that stuff because it's killing the coral reefs and it's bad for the environment. Well, our SPF body cream and face, and uh, we also have a uh, lip product, those all pass all the standards. So, with flying colors. And then we have a re even a recycle program that you can turn around and put your empty bottles in your boxes they came in um, into a recycle program. So we're seriously like trying to do our part, you know, Okay, so I just mixed the other three together, which was due date. And due date is a um, oil, and it'll say, it says on here, like, it is a face oil. It has um, palmarosa and sunflower. It's for all skin types. This aromic essential oil blend, uh, base blend instantly absorbs into skin and achieve a dewy, healthy, glowing look. So it's throwing a bunch of moisture on your skin. And then I put that glow drop on there to give a little bit of a sheen. Let me put this on. I'm telling you, I use this buffer brush for everything. It's like, instead of using my fingertips, I would rather use this cute little brush and I think it's like 18 or $20. It's so worth it. Like you're gonna use it every single day. Um, it's synthetic hairs, which means if you are using an all natural hair brush, guess what those natural hair brushes have? Hmm, pores. Yeah, real hair has pores in it, which means it's gonna hold on to that product and probably have some bacteria going on in the real hair pores. Synthetic hairs are actually better to use because it doesn't open up, it doesn't break off like normal hair once it gets old, and so it'll last you a lot longer. And of course, it's safer for the animals and the environment to not be taking their hair. So, okay, now I've got a lot of shine going on. I'm gonna open up my compact, which I literally, oh, this box is sitting on top of all of them. <laughs> Like, I can't find any of my things. So, here's another, like, little tray of fun stuff. I do have, I do have um, a foundation tester. So, if you're interested in wanting to try a foundation, like, I gotcha. I also have a website that you can go to to order foundation samples and that just rolled out this summer. And what's amazing about that is those foundation samples are like huge. I mean, they're not the size of a foundation like when we sell them. Our foundations are this big. Um, but the sample is basically like, I feel like it's a fourth of this. And this lasts up to eight months. So a foundation sample to try to get the right color See if you like that we have 50% pigment. It's very full coverage if you want it to be. It's very light coverage if you want it to be. It depends on what tool you're using and how you apply it. But anyways, I highly recommend you go on, take the test, which is 90% accurate 
or it's a really high percentage accurate on what your skin tone color is. They'll match your neck and your chest and um, they'll see if you're warm or cool and you answer all the questions. So um, you know your skin better than anybody. I can also help you if you feel um, like you wanna double check, like a second opinion. And I'm going for, by the way, number one here. It's a little bit pinky. I do it under my eyes for my dark circles. So I'm gonna put it on the inside corners. And then I'm gonna put on the outside edge like this. But if you do want a second opinion on what color you would be foundation wise, you just face a window for natural lighting and take a really good picture of yourself and send it to me. I will color match you and then we know, you know, if you take the test online plus me telling you, we'll know if we're sitting close or, uh, you know, what we think. But then ordering a foundation sample that's $7, that foundation will go a long ways. Um, that'll just give you some confidence before you spend like, you know, the money for a real full size, which is only 38. So still a good price. Okay, so I did that. And now I'm gonna go with my contour, give a little bit of shadow, just a little bit. I kind of come off the top of my ear down towards my lips. I make this line right here, corner of my lips, top of my ear where my hair is already like forming a shadow, natural look coming down. I don't put too much on because then, and I've done that before, a little bit goes a long way. If you do, you just blend it out really good, but ta -da. you can tell I'm super shiny. So I've been shiny. I've been letting my moisturizer just kind of sit in. The only thing I've done is contour and um, my um, concealer under my eyes. Um, but to take away that shine, I'm now going to do, oh, I want to do this fancy thing real fast. So my girlfriend did this um, online the other day. I was like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. So, just real quick, a little magic trick going on here. I've got my setting spray, okay? So I, and I'll put this on my face too. But my setting spray is going to make a clean slate for whatever products I put on to be held on really good. And then when I'm done, you cover it with like the other bookend, first bookend, second bookend, put the products in between. This is the uh, setting, this is priming, sorry. This is setting, and I always pick up the one right here that has something on the corner because this says up to 16 hours. So that's the final thing. So you wanna just kinda like lock your stuff in place. So right now I'm gonna show you just, let's put it right here. I'm gonna spray my arm. And then I'm gonna go in. Um, Grab my fan brush, let that dry. I'm gonna put some blush on, just to show you guys, it's amazing. So let's put a little streak of blush. Yeah. A little goes a long way with this blush. I don't know if you can see, but there's like blush all over my arm and, I'll, and now all over my shirt. <laughs> but I'll put bronzer on too. Brush and bronzer. Okay, let's do that to the other arm. Blush. Okay, I have a really light blush. I don't like, I don't use super dark blushes. And a little bit of, let's go a little bit more on here. Bronzer. Okay, so this arm has no setting spray. This has the setting spray. Well, since my blush is so light, I'm not sure this little experiment will work on me, but we're gonna go ahead and try. So, I'm gonna set it, okay? This one I did not prime, and I'm not gonna set it either. I don't know if you can even, I can see it a little bit, not too much. 
Oh, here's the blush. Here's the bronzer. Found it. Okay. So the blush is up here by this mole, which is gross. And then the bronzer's down there. And this one, you can see bronzer here and blush up here. So, okay, now I'm going to continue. What I was going to tell you is, um, I'm going to take away the sheen. Translucent setting powder. Our translucent setting powder works best with our foundation setting spray, all the things, okay? You could tell half of my face, the sheen just went away. I usually have a fan going up here because I'm upstairs and it's by this, these 30 foot ceilings over here and um, it gets hot, but I felt like the fan was gonna annoy making a video because the recording, like it's just not good. So I turned the fan off. So I'm getting a little bit hot sitting up here when it's starting to warm up more and more outside. But I think the camera even like, or the camera, the light just changed on my face because it's like, what happened to that super shiny face? Like the light changed because, yeah, it keeps changing. It's trying to find like a good focus. So there, so I'm not shiny anymore. I take this same brush, I squeeze it, I put it on my blush, blush up here on the cheekbone See, it shows up more on my face than my arm. And I take the same brush and go bronzer just below that and then on up into my hairline. Create a nice little sun-kissed look. You wanna frame your face. That's one big thing that I learned from one of our awesome makeup artist. Her name is Kat Argon. She's amazing. She has so many tricks. Like I learned so much when I watch her and honestly I'm getting on here and showing them to you so you're learning too. But my lighting is a little silly today. I think it just like got overcast outside even though it's warm. So I'm gonna change my ring light for you to see. I'm gonna take it down. I'm gonna take it back up. I can change the color. Ooh, there's like a blue. And like super yellow. Okay, fun to play around with. Maybe I'll help you see it better. But, I don't know if you guys have been watching me for months with this Lime Life stuff, but I originally started using the products because I had such bad acne, like mom, hormonal, chin, jaw acne. And I had been taking medication for it, which I felt like there was too many side effects to this medication. I want something better for my body. So I was trying different cleansers. I came across Lime Life through my girlfriend Sarah's Facebook and I'm like, I'm gonna try that. It's more natural. Um, I looked into the company. I was like, okay, I think this is legit. So I did. I got, um, let's see, which moisturizer did I start with? Oh, I, I, I got a cleanser. I got this Dream Clean cleanser and started feeling like fresh and clean. And then I got Skin Therapy moisturizer and I saw a change in my skin. Um, the acne was still coming, but the foundation and the concealer was helping me cover it up. And then honestly, the acne has come to a screeching halt when I am regularly using these. So I had some blemishes starting to surface yesterday. Here's one, it's tiny, but I know it's just hormones. It was starting to surface yesterday. So that's why last night I did my treatment. Cause I'm like, I don't want this to like come full blown, just more and more breakouts. So I did my treatment and you see how tiny it is. It like takes the power of that really getting big away from it. And um, 
I don't have acne anymore. So I know these products work, especially that Green Team Duo. It is amazing. So now that I've done my um, skincare and foundation and blush and powder and all those things, this is still going good. See how this one is. It's a little bit there. Still see some pink blushiness going on. But let's go ahead and keep going. Right now, uh, we are in the month of September, and the, today is actually the last day, so I'm not even sure if this is worth talking about, but um, we have a Brighter Together bundle. It comes in a cute little makeup bag, and it's to this combo right here. Brow, pencil, brow, gel. This will give you the brows that you want. So I plucked my eyebrows this morning, and now I'm gonna show you. It has spoolie on one end, and then it has a twist up application on the other side. So I just, I have like a spot missing hairs for some reason, and then I have sparse hairs from here over. So I really gotta fill that all in. So I take my pencil, shape my brow here, fill that spot in. I used to use like a chalky eyebrow pencil for years. And it would kind of go through the hairs and hang on to my skin, but it was chalky. This is not chalky. This is more actual pigment. So it gives me what I'm looking for. And just so you know, this is, this is called Claim to Fame. Let me find my color on here. This is number two. So it's gonna be, I have the box right here. So this is number two. It's the light, I'm pretty sure. Does it say light on here somewhere? I'm pretty sure number two is the light. I gave my catalog to one of my um, beauty guides so she could have it. I need to order more. But I use the light and look how dark it shows up. So I'm not using like a super dark medium one or anything. Um, I don't know why it's two. If it's light, it should be maybe number one. But anyways, um, that's what would make sense to me. But... It just has the number on there. Uh, anyways, light turns out dark on me. And I always go lighter when ordering something for my brows rather than darker because I think you can make it look darker. You can never like make it look lighter, you know? And the rule of thumb for brows is boom. Boom with your nose and your pupil should be the highest point. And then all the way out here, no, nostril to the end of your eye should be the end of your brow. So boom, which I could bring a little bit more in. Mo Oops, wrong side. Most people's eyebrows are two different shapes. So if that's what you got going on, it's totally fine. There we go. It's pretty symmetrical. But see how dark they are? So, if you're wondering, like, what should I order? Go lighter. Always go lighter. I've got allergies going on because on the other side of the woods right there is, like, four fields of goldenrod all in bloom. So I was wondering like, what are these sniffles? Like, what's going on? And then when I was on the highway, I looked over and I'm like, oh, that's what's going on. Tons of goldenrod in bloom. It's also hay season, so hay fever is going on too. Okay, so this is a clear brow gel. When it's brand new, it looks like this. Very clear. After you use it, probably after you use your pencil, it gets a little bit of color in it. So this is clear. Um, 
the other color of one that's the light to clear from light to clear on it has fibers in it the actual clear is just the gel to help you set your brows in place like like a you know gel for your hair or, uh, hairspray so my hair seem to go a little haywire through the day um, it's like they feel my attitude so they perk up or something <laughs> so I like to put them in place so they stay and so I like the clear brow gel because like I said I don't like to just keep adding color to my brows um, if I don't use my brow pencil then I just straight up use my um, light color uh, light color gel so uh, our brow gels and our um, brow pencils like are sell like hotcakes. Like they're, like I said, professional makeup and uh, Lime Life knows what they're doing. They've been doing it for over 50 years. So they have the longevity, they have the experience, the expertise, the know-how. Um, okay, so I've done that. Let's go ahead and play with a little bit of the green color because it's fall, so fun. I'm going to put some green liner on here, and this is gel-based um, liner, so it goes on smooth. It is a pencil, so you have to sharpen it. If you don't sharpen it, you could kind of like stab yourself a little bit, but a trick to avoid that is to use um, like a tiny little brush angled brush and then you since it's gel it goes on pretty smooth on the brush and then you can come back with the brush just kind of blend some into your lash line so that was a little trick makeup trick if you're can't find your sharpener or you're in a hurry or whatever or you don't want that thick of a line just use your angle brush. An angle brush can come in handy for so many things. Brows, shadows, licks, lipstick, lip liner, eyeliner. So I would definitely wash it after using it on your eyes before you use it on your lips. Um, we do have like a disinfectant spray that um, I've ordered. I haven't used it yet because I ordered it for makeovers but uh, brush cleaner spray, make off spray helps you clean your brushes. All those things will help you like on the spot real fast clean your brush. <clears throat> and then, you know, every once in a while you should take all your brushes to the sink and use your facial cleanser on them and get them really good and then lay them flat on a paper towel to dry. You never wanna put them up like this because then the water goes down inside the little metal holder and then it breaks apart the glue and it swells the wood and just all the things like in general, being an artist, you lay your brushes flat to dry after washing them. Never wanna leave them in water, which is the number one thing I do. Like mistake, I should make that. I'll like be super busy painting and then something will come up and I'll throw my brushes in the water and then literally like five days goes by and I'm like, oh my gosh, my brushes. <laughs> so I am really bad at that, but I use cheap brushes when I'm painting. So here's a little bit of the black liquid liner just to show you how smoothly it goes on, how easy it is. It's 11.33. Um, so that's really nice and it is water resistant. It's not waterproof, but it's water resistant. So that means it's gonna stay on pretty good for you. Um, if you have a problem with like finding your lip line, which right now I have a little um, blemish next to <clears throat> my lips, I'm gonna take my concealer. I'm gonna take more of a concealer brush, which is like, Let's see, this one right here where it's like smooth bristles. And then I'm just go in around my lips and add a little bit of lighter concealer um, to do a highlight on your Cupid's bow. 
is like something a lot of people are doing. And then just kind of blend it out so you see like your actual lip line a little better. So that's something to help if you have like a blemish next to your lips. Okay, so moving along, I am going to get my lip liner out. I thought this was gonna be darker than it actually is. So I'm gonna be ordering another one soon, different color. This one is cinnamon, number 11. It's a good color. I just thought it was gonna be more like what my lip color is right now. So I'm learning. That's another thing I wanna say is, if you're gonna order something, please get a hold of me before you order, and then I can help you pick the right thing. I've learned some lessons through this, so let my mistakes be your gain, and um, like that, the miscolor, color, you know? Like I'll get graphics of colors, and I'll think, oh, that's what that looks like, but really, there might be another graphic out there to show you a little bit more like what it looks like, and then it's like, oh wait, that's not at all what I thought it was gonna be. So you have to be careful. In, in ordering, um, I can show you tricks on how to save money ordering also. So just get a hold of me if there's something you're interested in. I can answer all your questions. I'm your personal shopper. When you walk down that Walmart aisle and you're in the cosmetics looking at everything, Nobody's gonna walk around the corner and be like, hi ma'am, how can I help you? What are you looking for today? You're completely alone. You're by yourself, you're spending your money, hard-earned money, might be 10 bucks, but it's your hard-earned money. And when you take that home and you're disappointed and you're like, oh, I got the wrong thing, that's a waste of $10. I, I doubt it people actually return Walmart products of makeup because it doesn't match. I mean, maybe they do, I've never done that. But, with Lime Life, you have a 30-day guarantee, happiness. They want you to be happy with their products. So this is an enduring lip gloss. Well, it's called a lip color. It comes in like a gloss look, but it will actually dry matte, so it's not very glossy at all. But this is a trick of the trade. When you pull that out, there's a lot more product on here than you actually need. So you just swipe it off, like get that product back in the container because we do not need that much. It, enough is on this little spongy thing. And then I actually turn it this way, apply it closer to the inside of my eye. And then, I gotta look in this other mirror. Isn't that pretty? That's enduring, so that's going to last a long time. Um, the color I had on under this, that wasn't coming off, you could tell. Uh, I put that on probably five hours ago. I've had coffee, I've eaten breakfast, I've had more coffee. <laughs> I had some gummies with Ronin, so I've eaten snacky stuff, and it was still on, so it's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna finish up with my eyes. I'm not doing any shadow today. It's more of like a no makeup makeup day, which you can tell I did my eye, uh, eyebrows and I've got some um, bronzer and blush on and concealer. So I do, you can tell I have makeup on, but if I do my eyes with shadow, it seems like um, I really have makeup on. Like, you can really tell. Like, she put a lot of makeup on today. Now, with all those new colors I just got, I've got some more natural-looking options. Um, I was buying my eyeshadows individually in these little squares. They're super cute. See it? Um, let's see what this one is. Like, this is a bright orange, which I never thought I would like, but, man, I, it's one of my go-tos. It's so fun. Um, I have a customer that's just recently ordered lime green and I was curious like what inspired you to do that and you know like how are you going to use this and we just had so much fun like playing around with other colors 
for her that she showed me. There's this lady on TikTok that had like a bright green shirt on and she put bright green on the inside of her eyes, like over halfway on the you know lid of her eye and then blended it out with like maybe a little yellow and it was so cute because of bright green shirt, bright green here and it was adorable. I'm like, oh, I see where you're going. Like that is a cute look. I'll probably be doing that myself. So a pop of color on your eyes is super fun. It's very trendy right now too. So um, I like to put a little bit of gloss over my enduring. I'm gonna go ahead and do Humble. It's more of a same kind of uh, tone pigment color of the Enduring Lip Gloss I put on. And that color is, where'd I put it? Birthday Cake. So birthday cake goes well with humble. See that? And then cinnamon, my lip liner that I ordered, actually goes very well with these two. So when you do order something, if it's not the exact color you want, guess what? It's still gonna be cute. Like this is super bright. It's also an enduring. And you literally have to scrape that product off because once this hits your skin, it is hard to get it off. You'll screw up like your preparation, like I put concealer around my lips. Um, so just better safe than sorry, less product and then add more. But I'll put it on my hand here. It's actually really pretty, even though here it looks like terrifying, like, oh my gosh, that's way too bright. It's really pretty once you get it on and then it you know, it's going to stay there all day. So you have just a little bit of a brighter lip color. And that one is called Cupcake. And um, after Cupcake, you can put on Smile, which is, if it has a sparkly top, it's the gloss. If it has a like flat silver, then it's the Enduring. So this gloss actually has a little bit more pigment color to me than the Enduring, but those two go great together. So we're sitting at 47 minutes on this video. I'm gonna go ahead and get off. I hear Ronan calling my name, so I gotta step into mom mode. But I hope some of these tips I gave you will help you. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me. Um, I love working with you guys and being your personal shopper like you do not have at Walmart. Um, and also as far as like any of the brands go at the um, department stores or Sephora or anything like that, like we are above them, like the top notch professional makeup. We have what you're looking for. We don't have a bunch of stuff that doesn't make sense to us. We have things that make sense. So if it's a good product, we have it. Um, I haven't put my mascara on yet. I'll go ahead and do that real fast to wrap this up. Maybe I did put some on. Put some more on. I blink through. So the process of putting your mascara on, if I haven't told you, is open your mouth <laughs> and then blink. <laughs> I know it's funny, but... It's really, that's the way to do it. So since I haven't posted any videos in a while, I hope you guys like this one. If I get a lot of likes and a lot of attention on it, I will keep posting videos. So, um, I have some other fun ideas for videos, so I will be making videos, but this one's an hour long, so, um, Thank you guys so much for watching. It'll probably come in two different parts, part one and part two, um, because my YouTube channel won't download an hour long one all by itself. It'll take forever, so I'll break it up. But I hope you guys have a blessed day, and it's Saturday. If you watch this on Saturday, hurry and get your Brighter Together bundle. It's only through $32 for the two. The eyebrow pencil and the gel, and you get to pick your colors, they come in combos. Um, I haven't heard of any of them selling out yet, 
but they were expecting a sellout, so it could happen today. Um, but get on there. My website will be, uh, it's in my bio, it's in a lot of my links um, in the comments. My link is in the comments of a lot of my posts, and um, today's the last day for that Brighter Together bundle. If you purchase it tomorrow, it's $8 more. Um, it's only $32, so it's $40 tomorrow, but it's a good deal regardless. Lasts a long time, and it does a great job. So you guys have a great day. Love ya. Peace. Bye.